hybrid fox kid and welcome back to Pokemon Violet. In the previous episode we took on Clive and Penny also known as Cassiopeia and we are just about to wrap up the Team Star story segment of the game. So we've got one more thing to do. We're going to go say hi to Director Clavel and see what like the wrap up of this specific story section is. So where are we going? Are we going to the director's office? I think that's where we're supposed to go. Yeah, let's go there. Am I supposed to be here Clavel? I hope so. There he is. Hello. How are we doing? You're my best friend. Hi. Hello. Ah. I want to thank you, you all for your... I wanted to thank you for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice of my choice of punishment for their actions. Oh. You have my sincerest gratitude. Oh. Oh. Hello. Who is it? Um. It's Penny. Oh, hey, Penny. Ah, oh, Miss Penny. Do come in. H Hello, Director. Hi, how you doing, Penny? About the STC. I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favourable response. But, um, I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. And what would that be? Hmm? Um, you know the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping me out with Operation Starfall? I got a hold of it, sort of, illegally, by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. Ah, I see. That is quite the revolution. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't all that hard. I mean, I I'm really sorry. I won't do it again. Ah. Hmm, this matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I will have to consult Miss Gita, the Pokemon League's chairwoman, on how to best proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Miss Hybrid, but I have to ask you to give us some privacy. <gasps> how could you? You told me to come say hello! Oh, how damn, Director Clavel. Oh, I'm back in my room? Okay, fair enough. Um, okay. Where do we go now? Um, I don't want- I want to finish off the storyline. Um, I don't know where I go. Do I just go to, like... Let's go back to the director's office. Let's just harass Clavel until he gives me the ending statement. Hello, I'm back again! If you ever need help with any school-related matters, I should be happy to lend an ear. Okay, that that was not what I wanted. Okay, where do I go? Uh, let's just go to the main hall and see if Penny's there. And she'll give me some insight of what's going on, because... How do I wrap up this part of the story? I don't remember. Okay. Hello? I am looking for a Penny. Um, she's not here. Okay, let's check outside. Penny, come back! I don't know where you are. Penny! Oh, right, 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 right. there we go. Beautiful. Hi, Bryn. Hello. Uh, Penny? There's something I want to talk to you about. Could you come and meet me in front of the school stairs? You know where we first met? I'll be waiting. Okay, there we go. That's how I found Penny. I had that all under control. I was not panicked whatsoever. <laughs> okay, let's go say hi to Penny. Let's see how to wrap this part of the story up. We're getting there. Where is she? Penny! I'm here! Where are you? Um, oh there she is. Hi, how you doing? I am here. Hi! What's up? Ah, look at her. Little Eevee backpack. Absolutely adorable. Hi! I'm here. <gasps> Hasta la vista! Hi, how you doing? The six of us thought up that catchphrase back when we created the team. It's so cringy. It's perfect, you know? Aww. Anyway, about the LP thing. I thought I was going down big time for hacking the league point system, but they're letting me off easy. That's great! It's good to hear! The Pokemon League said they'll waive my debt if I do some volunteer engineering for them. They even asked me to come work for them after I graduate, if you can believe that. Director Clavel and that Gator lady kept complimenting me like a weird amount. Apparently I have outstanding talent or something. Oh, sorry for calling you out here to meet like this. I'm still not great with people face to face. I never seem to find the right words, but um, yes, what's up? Th thank you so much. Ah, you saved Team Star and my friends along with it. Mm -mm. I know words won't ever be enough to properly thank you for all you've done. So here, oh, ho ho, Draco Media. Um, I already have a good dragon type move, so I don't necessarily need it, but won't complain. I'm sure you'll put this to good use. No, I won't. I don't even think anyone can learn that. And one more thing. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, of course it's raining! Why? Oh, every bloody time! I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. Um, actually, I have an idea! I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. Do you want to come to the depths of hell with me and Arvin? <laughs> so, next time, I'll be the one helping you, hybrid. Okay, you're coming to the depths of hell with us! <laughs> be seeing you then. Hasta la vista! Okay, bye bye Have a good day! Of course it had to rain! Why is it in every, like, story beat there is always a belting of rain? Okay, apparently so. I'll have to deal with it. <laughs> oh god, okay, fair enough. Well, the... what was it called? Starfall Street? I think that's what it was called. It's finally complete! I was too busy bitching about the rain, but that's beside the point. Okay, so since that part of the story is done, I want to go back into the school. And I want to have a chitty chat with a Miriam and take my two final art classes. So I'm pretty sure we have one more class and then we have our finals. So that would be pretty easy to sweep by. I want to at least finish art because, yeah, we are coming very close to the end of the game. So one more thing to do. Okay, hello. I have come to get good grades in one subject and one subject only. Um, where do you want to go? Let's go say hi. Oh, wait, we have more. We can talk to Clavel as well. Oh, today's going to be a big rounding up everybody episode. We're going to be chatting with everybody. Oh god, that means a lot of talking on my end. Oh no! Hi Miriam, how you doing? Hey there, come on in. Everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. I forgot her voice. <laughs> oh, hybrid, I'm glad you're here. Is this her voice? I don't know. I have some good news. You're not going to believe this, but... What? I passed a health teacher certification exam. <gasps> Congratulations, Miriam, you did well! Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> I saw you pushing yourself real hard with your treasure hunt, and that really inspired me. Oh, of course. Most of the credit of my success goes to my hard work, though. <laughs> oh, gosh. She's so cute. Thanks for giving me a push I needed to try again, Hybrid. You're welcome, Miriam. I'm... Ooh! Thanks for the pressy. <laughs> uh, I'll take that. But yes, I am glad you did well. But they tell me there's no room to add new classes this year. Well, are we going to wait till next year? So, I guess I'll keep being Nurse Miriam for a bit. Just you wait, though. I'll be standing in front of the class at this academy before you know it. Mm-hmm. Then I'll teach you all you need to know about health. I bet I'll make a great teacher. I can't wait to see you in my class. And I will be in your class. I'll be your number one supporter. I gained a close bond with Miriam. Hell yeah. Oh, we love to see it. You're doing great. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, let's go. Oh, All right, and that's not the door. There we go. That is the door. Um, let's go say hi to Clavel. Uh, there's nothing else I think. No, okay. Time to go to Clavel. See how he's doing. Hi, Clavel. How you doing? I heard that you and Penny had a chitty chat. Hmm? Hi! Thank you again for your outstanding work on Operation Starfall. I cannot tell you how relieved I am that we were able to help Miss Penny as we did. And I know she is exceedingly grateful to you for all your part in this. Mm-hmm. So, I have one more thing to ask you. Though the request is admittedly of a delicate nature. Do you think you could continue being good friends with Miss Penny as you have thus far? Uh, you bet! Can do! No, she's my worst enemy now. I must say, I truly am glad to have you as one of my shins at the Academy. I believe you've more than earned this small token of my appreciation. Oh, big nugget! <gasps> Thank you! I will sell that for many monies! <laughs> I hope that you will always stay just as wonderful as you are now, Miss Hybrid. Ah, oh, thank you, you flattered me so. <laughs> you formed a close bond with Director Clavel. Hooray! He is now my best friend. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, time to actually attend class. The thing I was trying to do at the start of this. Uh, entrance hall. Off we go. Let's go take our art class and then also maybe wrap things up with Hassel as well if I take the rest of his class. I don't know how the teacher conversations work. Yeah, because I think the more classes you take, the more events will pop up. Like, for example, Hassel. Hence why I've chatted to no other teacher, because I've taken none of their classes. <laughs> okay, let's check out with Art. And let's go have another one. Class will begin soon, don't be tardy. Can do, easy enough. Okay, hopefully our final class. I hope it is. Hello, how we doing? Hello class, it is I, Hassel, yet again. Who else would it be? My, my, how the time flies, as they say. Indeed, our time together has certainly flown by. It's hard to believe that this is our last class. I was correct! Ha ha! Now, our topic for today may feel somewhat unrelated to art. Hmm? But there is absolutely no set definition as to what art should be. 
Therefore, let us carry on with the discussion and see where it takes us. Okay. There are two things I wish to focus on today. Ribbons and marks. Ooh. Both ribbons and marks are special honours that capture a Pokemon's qualities. There will be a time when your Pokemon gives maximum effort or has a noteworthy experience. In recognition of this feat and accomplishment, it can be given a ribbon. Ooh. To give an example, if you manage to become incredibly close with a Pokemon, it may be granted the best friend ribbon. Incidentally, there is a person in Kasafara who can give your Pokemon a best friend ribbon. Oh! Marks, on the other hand, are mostly found on wild Pokemon when you meet them for the first time. They can symbolize the character of a Pokemon, such as with the Rowdy Mark or the Vigor Mark. Oh, okay. It's completely up to luck whether you run into a Pokemon with these marks. Mm hmm. So, if you're able to catch a Pokemon with a mark, rejoice at your outstanding fortune! Does anyone know what special thing you can do with Pokemon that have ribbons or marks? Um, You can change their title! Wonderful hybrid, your knowledge is impressive! Yay! The correct answer is, Pokemon with ribbons or marks can be given titles. What's more, they can be sent into battle displaying the title of your choosing. For example, you could send out a Gibble with a best friend ribbon by declaring Go Gibble, the great friend! And while I know I just said that marks are generally found among Pokemon when you meet them for the first time, it seems that more recently Pokemon can be awarded certain marks based on their efforts. These marks such as the Gorman mark, the item finder mark, and the partner mark, and so on. Perhaps it might be fun to try and work out how to get each mark using the name as a clue. Oh, well, that just about wraps up our last class. Next is the final exam. Please review our material closely so you pass on the first try. I will try my best! Do not worry about a thing, Hassle! I am worried. <laughs> I should be fine, I had a very big break in between classes, so mm, yeah, I'm fine. We'll be A-OK! -okay. Uh, can I take my finals? Yay! Uh, yes, I would like art with Mr. Hassle once again. My class will begin soon, don't be tardy. Easy enough. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's crunch time. Let's see if all my knowledge is worth it. Oh, now I've... There was one thing I got wrong, like, in the class. I don't remember which one it was. I do hope you're all ready, because it's time for the final exam. Focus and do your best. Okay, can do. And begin! Um, uh, what is the name of the restaurant where you change Pokemon Terratype? It is the Treasure Eatery. Yep. What is the name of Brassius' signature art installation... That was disgusting class. That was the surrendering song flora. How many waterfalls are counted among the ten sites of Paldea? Is it three? I don't know. Where can you find the million volt skyline? That is in Lavincia. What has everything been B? The mark the Pokemon has can be presented when you first meet them, and none can be added later. It's technically false, because you can get the ones that he listed. Yeah. I'm probably gonna fail this, I don't oh god. Time's up, that's it for today's test. Pencils down, please. Oh, God. I might fail this. Thank you so much for learning about art with me. You're welcome, Hassle. I probably failed. The time we shared has left a mark that I will treasure, I promise you. And it is my sincerest wish that all of you go on to even greater, more prosperous futures. Yay! And with that, good work, everybody. You can receive your results from the front desk. Okay, easy enough. I probably failed my art class because I think I may have gotten two wrong. Branded one was a 50-50. <laughs> ah, besides the point. We'll see how we go. Hello. Uh, yes, it does. You must get three questions correct to pass midterm and four correct to pass the final. Let's see how you do the art test. Yeah, the four out of five. Woo! I passed. Passing grade. Painfully average, as I always say. That's a passing score! Congratulations! Mr. Hassel asked us to give this reward to any students who pass the exam. Five XP candy! Beautiful! We love to see it! Uh, keep doing your best! Oh, thank you, lady! Wait, is that all? Nothing else? Um, okay. Oh, I can go see Mr. Hassel, but have we proven that art class is completely done? Yes, art class is completely done! Okay, beautiful! Let's go say hi to... Mr. Hassel, see what he has to say for the end of, like, uh, teacher-student connection time, whatever it's called. <laughs> Let's go have a chat with him, that's all I really wanted to say. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm just continually walking. Hello, how we doing? Don't mind my casual walking to the left. Why, hello there, hybrid. Hi, how you doing? You always seem to appear at the most crucial of moments. Oh, yes, what's going on? 
Well, you see. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, lady. Master Hassel, I am here to collect you. So I see. I'm glad that you finally made up your mind about taking your place as the leader of the family. Well, it is indeed true that I have made up my mind. Hmm? Look at me giving him the side eye like, hmm. I have made up my mind to continue teaching here at the academy. Yeah. How could you? Are you saying you don't care what happened to our proud lineage? I am saying I have other priorities. Have a look around at the art decorating this room, would you? The children here are letting their senses, their perceptiveness, grow freely. I do not wish to say that protecting our family's ancient bloodline is of no importance. I simply wish to see young talent blossom and grow into the future. It just seems so much more fun to me, if I'm to be honest. <laughs> what utter nonsense. And yet, your fearless, unflinching commitment to that of nonsensical vision proves that you are worthy of carrying the will of the dragon, Mr. Hassel. Mm-hmm. I will not give up. I will come as many times as I need in order to change your mind. Oh, by all means, my door is open. I think you'll soon find you've met your match in stubbornness. Uh-oh. You think I could be cowed by some story spun up about my father's deteriorating health? I am not so easily fooled. Oh, so she lied. Ha, <laughs> I will return another day. Oh, you're a liar! Get out of here! Wee! <laughs> ah, I'm sorry you had to see all of that. Yeah, crucial moment, huh? I was so very close to resigning my post as a teacher and returning to my home. But the student here gave me the courage I needed to say no. That includes you, Hybrid. Your words truly brought me strength. Aww, I'm happy to help. I cannot think of a way I could possibly repay my debt to you young ones. Take this, if you will. Insufficient as it may be in expressing the full breadth of my gratitude. What? Oh, Dragon Terror Shard! Not bad, not bad. Okay, thanks. Appreciate that. Now then, let it be clear to all. I, Hassel, will continue my chosen path as an instructor of the youth of our world. Mm-hmm. You formed a close bond with Mr. Hassel. Oh, beautiful! Okay, so we finished that part of the story. Mr. Hassel is now happy doing his own thing, and we are... Yeah, we're pretty much free of all school things, because I've officially finished the one class I needed to do. It took me, like, a 40-something episode, but that's beside the point. <laughs> I am terrible at schoolwork, what can I say? Okay, so... Since we are heading to our next destination, which will be essentially like Victory Road in quotations, because this game doesn't have a Victory Road, while we're going to the Elite Four, we might as well make it up to the Poker Center that's outside before we end off this episode, purely because I want to do something a little more than just talking for the entire episode, because yeah, it can be a little bit daunting from time to time. So yeah, let's head over to the Victory Road in quotations. And yeah, maybe catch like a Pokemon or two and say hi, because I think this area's like got level 10 Pokemon. Surprisingly enough, it's right outside the like final area of the game, but they're level 10. <laughs> Makes no sense, but that's besides the point. I'm actually surprised this game doesn't have a, like a victory road, because I'm pretty sure every Pokemon game does. Did Sword and Shield have a victory road? I don't think it did. Okay, never mind. Uh, ignore that point. I don't think Sword and Shield did. Uh, then again, I kind of forgot. <laughs> Hello! I am here! How are we doing? Oh, I should catch a Pokemon. Who do I want to catch? Do I have a Mousehold? Yes, I have a Mousehold. I don't think I have a Fido. Do I have a Fido? Yeah, I do have a Fido. Is there a Pokemon I haven't caught yet? Um, there's an Iggly buff. I'm not going to fight these trainers because they're level 10. I'm going to kick some butt. Uh, I only have Iggly buff here. Okay, you know what? Let's go catch this Iggly buff. Hello, how are we doing? Do you want to stay in the bowl? Hi, how are you doing? Oh, you poor guy. Let's just throw a quick ball at you. I swear I'm not trying to be mean. Whoa! Okay, this should be nice and easy. Yep, maybe. Hmm. Beautiful, okay. Iggly Buff was caught. Yes. Ha ha! Beautiful! Wow, that's a lot of experience. <laughs> okay, Iggly Buff, the balloon Pokemon. It likes to sing, but it's not yet good at it. With praise and encouragement, it will get better little by little. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's, I didn't expect Igglybuff's uh, Pokedex entry to be that wholesome. Oh, I like that. Okay, fair enough. Hello, bud. How are you doing? Goodbye. Okay, so we've made it to the outskirts of the Pokemon League. and he looks cool as anything. Hell yeah. So, I think with that, I might... Oh, God, there's Gator over there. Ooh, spooky scary. Yeah, I think with that, I might leave this episode here. 
And yeah, we are getting ready to try out the Pokemon League, which is kind of nerve wracking because it's the end of the game. And I don't want to look like an idiot getting swept by a specific person because there's always a chance I could get swept again, but that's beside the point. <laughs> but yes, I think with that, I'm going to leave this episode here. If you guys like the video, give the video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you want to stick around. Oh, good. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.